we took both these guns to the range to kind of test them out and I think this is the third time we shot the LCP2 and 22 LCP Max it's the first time so we really brought it out to shoot the LCP Max but I had my wife shoot the LCP2 and 22 caliber now here you see a failure when she shoots I think this first round yep immediately there you go and I've been having all types of issue with all types of ammo from cheap Remington 22 to the CCI stingers we're having these types of issues as you see here we're getting failure to feeds we're getting stove piping we're getting uh, just jams that we have in the clear I thought it was a magazine at first but it turns out it wasn't I bought a second magazine same issue I tried different ammo I tried oiling the gun I tried cleaning the gun and same issues occurred now I shot this myself about 40 rounds when I first got the gun and I had about two failures which I think is indicative to the 22 caliber and so I do understand that 22 rimfire ammo isn't you know it's flawed and it's gonna have its failures but I was getting a lot of jams mind you this was the weapon that my wife was carrying for a little bit and I told her to stop I did do my research and I went online and I did look up the issues with the LCP2 and I did discover that there were some issues with the slide with the extractor, um, with the magazines, and so I'm not blind to the fact that the LCP2 has issues that are known. I just thought I'll take my chances with it. In my opinion, it is still a good firearm. And I'm gonna explain to you next about my journey with Ruger customer service because I think they're pretty good. There are several ways to reach out to Ruger to complain about your firearm issue. I thought I had to register my weapon, so I went and found the um, date on my email when I purchased it. You don't need to do that. As a matter of fact, I actually looked into Ruger's warranty information and there is none because based off what I'm hearing on the internet and what Ruger's response is, it's almost like a lifetime warranty, but I think based off my little knowledge that they do fix the weapons that have issues that they currently still produce parts for. So if it's a popular gun, most likely you'll get a lifetime warranty on it. If they stop manufacturing it, they may have limited parts available to you. Um, and, you know, that determines if there's a price or not. So I call up Ruger. I talk to this really nice woman. She takes out my address, my first, last name. Don't ask me for anything else besides that all and the serial number. I give her that. She gives me two options. The first option is to receive a packing slip um, by email. And the second option was for them to send me a box that would take additional time. I decided to take the additional, no, I decided to take the packing slip. I printed it out. I found an Amazon box. I boxed up just the mag, just the gun, not the magazine. No ammo in it, obviously. Dropped it off at a FedEx drop-off point within, it's a two-day shipping, right? So it's second-day air. It goes out, gets to the factory. I get a notice from Ruger immediately saying they receive my weapon and they'll get back to me in two to four weeks because of lead times of the busyness that they have. So I was a little disappointed at the time, but I was happy because I knew that the gun was in good hands. The gun comes back to me in about five business days in a Ruger box. I did not send it out. And it came with a little cleaning cloth that you see here, which is pretty cool. I think it's microfiber. A chamber flag, um, the gun was oiled, cleaned, and it came with the paperwork describing what had happened to the weapon. And in the description, it said they replaced the slide assembly, so there was something wrong with the manufacturing, and they fired 30 rounds of a gorilla without malfunction, which I thought was pretty cool. There was no charge to me for the shipping, and there was no charge for the repair. And that alone makes me a Ruger fan, and that's going to keep me buying their products because they do stand behind them. I understand anything in manufacturing is going to fail, but customer service is king when it comes to certain items, especially expensive firearms, even though this is not an expensive firearm, but you can buy some from Ruger. And I'm pretty happy with the customer service I received from Ruger. They replaced the slide, they addressed the issue, and... To me, that's the desired impact I wanted. I can't, you know, I can't really complain other than to tell you, if you buy an LCP2 in 22 caliber, there's a chance you might bump into some issues. 
And if you do, send it off to Ruger. I waited almost a year to send mine off, which I mistakenly did. And they will actually test your gun. They will do some diagnostics and then whatever it is that's wrong with it, they'll fix it and send it right back to you. Can't complain. I do want to take into account that I did do the research on the LCP2 and there were a lot of people saying that this gun only shoots certain types of 22 ammo. When I contacted Ruger, that is not true. Ruger themselves said it should shoot all. So stop saying that the hyper velocity ammo is the only one that shoots effectively through this model because it's not its intended use case. It's not designed for that. It's designed to shoot all 22 and that's something that you should be shooting through this LCP2. Have a good one. Tune into my next video.